There has been hypothesis on why car engineer Sandy Munro sold his whole stake in the main electric vehicle brand. Sandy Munro is a machine device and creation master who works in the auto business. He started his vocation as a device creator at Fearless Machine and Apparatus in Windsor, a general engines provider. In ongoing meetings, the auto fabricating master made sense of his activities and discussed the eventual fate of Tesla. So for what reason did he sell his Tesla stock? Might it be said that he is as yet hopeful about Tesla? Continue to watch to find out. Munro and Partners, his counseling firm in Troy, Michigan, was established in 1988. This organization works in Lean Plan, which includes destroying autos to explore and suggest upgrades and advancements. Munro's firm represents considerable authority in destroying vehicles to look at their development, and it has analyzed many vehicles, makers, and providers by the point-by-point -point assessments, which they use to assist with arranging cost and upgrade their items. For instance, they took a gander at the BMW i3 in 2015, a creative electric car that utilized a ton of polymers supported with carbon fiber and hemp. It took $2.1 million to create their total expense study, which initially sold for $89,000. Sandy Munro is known to be a Tesla lover, so when financial backers acknowledged he had sold all his stock, it caused a few turmoil and the hypotheses started to come in. Some accepted that since Munro and partners work on vehicles from different producers, being a financial backer in one organization to the detriment of the others didn't look great. Also, Sandy Munro sold all of his Tesla stock and had no other vehicle speculations. To keep up with the presence of freedom, he explicitly tended to this in a new meeting. More or less, he felt it was basic not to claim any stock in that frame of mind to show that he's a fair-minded eyewitness of the organization and item assessor. He makes sense of this in a YouTube interview, saying he is as yet enthused about Tesla and doesn't have any desire to be seen as unfair. This checks out, however, a more critical view would be that he made this declaration for titles. He could have placed them in an oversaw account too. Some trust Sandy's work, similar as Musk's, is to stand out as truly newsworthy for his organization, so he'll happily take a dubious position on the off chance that it procures him more consideration or prompts new position valuable open doors. Vehicle organizations have been known to extend to clearly pundits' lucrative counseling position to quietness them. Yet, this seldom works. Munro's assertions about as yet being excited about Tesla add up in light of the fact that they have very much a set of experiences. Before, Munro tended to why Tesla has such an unequivocal lead on electric vehicles on the tech channel Hyperchange, and which contenders don't as a rule joke around about making up for lost time. He asserts most Tesla contenders are essentially investing pitiful amounts of energy. They aren't true about their aims, utilizing a similar strategy. They're likewise somewhat late to the market. As indicated by the auto fabricating master, they're saying we'll simply get something into the commercial center, and afterward they do. Furthermore, it's not so much as an electric vehicle. It resembles somebody's concept of what electric vehicles ought to be like. He says the future vehicle is additionally made of ungainly materials. Not a vehicle was made to be an electric vehicle. He says most contenders are likewise attempting to pack an old plan of action into another item, which is not really achievable. Munro is likewise amped up for Tesla's impending pickup truck. In the event that Munro thinks Tesla has a lead at this moment, he figures the Cybertruck will step things up a score by presenting a totally different vehicle fragment. He explained on this by expressing it's in a particular classification for me. It's normally alluded to as a pickup truck. It's not the case since it doesn't have a place in that classification. So it gives off an impression of being another class in a bid to figure out the specialized parts of the organization. It appears Tesla is being destroyed via automakers in the US and Europe. Munro said he's taking apart electric vehicles from all over the market, However, he initially started dismantling a Tesla in line with Audi. The Chevy Bolt, Panther I-Pace, Tesla Model 3, and Tesla Model Y were other electric vehicles analyzed. As per the analysts, the Tesla vehicles have novel and exceptional hardware and strong designing, however insufficient bodywork and creation plan.
Munro asserted that headways in later Tesla vehicle models were convincing contrasted with past emphasis. Sandy Munro's movies giving broad teardowns and examinations of the then new Tesla Model 3 aroused the public's interest. Beginning in February 2018, Munro and partners then, at that point, sent off their own YouTube channel. Munro Live, which highlights teardowns and investigations of a scope of family electric cars and conversations on the designing and plan strategies. He dismantles Tesla's Model Y and his most recent dismantling and reports dumbfounding outcomes. As per Munro, what he found in the Model Y was amazing and passed his underlying assumptions. He accepts that the bar has been raised and that the contenders should start acting responsibly if they would rather not be abandoned. As per Munro, Tesla is no less than a decade in front of the opposition in carrying out up. Grades to creation vehicles on the fly. The designer likewise thinks Tesla delivers an item that is presumably 90% or 95% there and utilizes a methodology of basically holding up till individuals whine and afterward quickly change things. While this could make Tesla more versatile than different organizations, it comes at the expense of Tesla allies guaranteeing the organization sells model vehicles instead of series creation vehicles. The specialist likewise expressed that Tesla ought to never deliver a $25,000 electric vehicle. Must's maker would confront a greater number of risks than remunerations from such a vehicle, as per the Korea Times. Monroe accepts that the economical EV will pursue Tesla investors limit their choice as far as market situating and income. As per the designer, most Tesla buyers need the chimes in general and whistles the firm offers scarcely any Model 3 standard reach vehicles were sold that Tesla chose to end the Model Y at that trim level. Progresses in battery plan, science, and in any event, fabricating strategies could assist the company with saving expenses while upgrading the all-out power result and production line proficiency. Musk anticipated that Tesla ought to have the option to make a vehicle that sells for $25,000 in three years because of enhancements in assembling computerization since the times of creation damnation and the famous tent, we were at $158 each kilowatt hour when we planned the Model 3. Sandy Monroe said of his projections while looking at the vehicle on a phone call supported by Bernstein. Examiners for the Model Y, we accept it will cost generally $108, he finished up. The cost has dropped fundamentally over the most recent two years attributable to substance alterations and different elements. This one could diminish to perhaps $70 or $75 each kilowatt hour. That is a gigantic step. However, toward the day's end, whether it's a $20,000 vehicle or a $25,000 vehicle, I don't see it. Basically, Monroe battled that Tesla must be deprived of such countless highlights before it becomes ugly to purchase also obey contenders, for example, Volkswagen are the mass-market electric vehicle industry. Tesla should guarantee its future items keep on convincing customers. Musk, who has long expressed that Tesla intends to help the world progress to economical energy. Many conflict, Musk commented on this, saying we want to create more cheap vehicles. Something that irritates me more than anything else is that we don't yet have a genuinely reasonable vehicle, which is something we will make from now on. On the whole, we should bring down the expense of batteries. We're with Elon. Like most watchers of this channel, we know Elon must to be steady with his objectives. Apparently, it's presented to Tesla this far. Tesla has kept on propelling considerably higher in the wake of detailing a fruitful first quarter with a sound monetary record, particularly as far as free income. Tesla drew nearer to S&P Worldwide's speculation grade rating, while at the same time exploring troublesome large-scale conditions in the business notwithstanding supply disturbances. S&P Worldwide appraisals today said that Tesla Incorporated first quarter results show strong execution and possibilities for hardy free income in 2022. The capacity of Tesla to move through worldwide inventory network difficulties and chip deficiencies, two issues that have tormented various ventures, with car being one of the most influenced, was maybe the most astonishing figure of Tesla's quarterly breakdown on its investor deck. Do you concur with Munro that Tesla shouldn't fabricate the $25,000 vehicle? Remark down underneath.